okay guys so uh, in this video in this tutorial you will learn how to set up backups of your files and database inside your cpanel or whm based server so if you are using a cpanel or a whm based server now uh, i will show you how you can easily set up a backup service so that the backup service will automatically take your backups and keep your files and all the data safe okay so i hope you know how to uh, log in inside your whm panel so this is my server this is my test server where i will go inside the whm panel by logging in using my root details so once i am logged in into my server using my root id and password i am logged in into something like this where i will write here in the search box as backup and then this options will come okay so first thing you need to go is backup configuration. Okay, so if you see here, there is an option to enable the backups. Okay, so first thing you need to do is to enable this backup service. And here you will see the option of additional destinations and validation results. Okay, so I will explain you uh, this entire process in two and three different videos where I will be telling you in this video a general overview of how you can set up the backups. And later in the other parts of the videos, I will show you how you can use the different professional services or the different cloud services to safeguard all your files. Okay, so quickly, let's move on to our backup configuration settings. So first thing you need to do is enable the backups. And just after that, you have the three options of compressed, uncompressed, and incremental, okay? So what this means is whatever the files or whatever the directories you will select in the compressed method, the system is going to create tar files, okay? So tar.gz, which is compressed, compressed version of the entire files and database. So if you use this method, then it will obviously use less space because it's a compressed version but this will take more time. Why? Because all your files will have to be compressed, right? So just like in Windows, when you zip something or when you RAR something, right? It takes their own time. So similarly is here the case. Whenever you want to create a compressed version of something, if your server has lots of files, it will take a lot of time, okay? In the uncompressed version, the system is automatically going to copy the files and paste it in the backup folder, okay? and this is the incremental so this is the usually the most effective one okay but it has the problem that it only saves uh, the files that changes so if you ever have an attack and if your infected files are used or if any uh, infected files are replaced uh, with your main files then the incremental backup system will have issues because you won't have any backup and the system is going to simply remove your clean files and simply use the new infected files okay and this is now here the option where you will be checking the available disk space so if you have less than five percent of the storage that means it's not gonna work it will say uh, your system storage has reached so similarly here are some timeout settings so you don't need to touch that normally this is fine and here you will choose the backup frequency whether you want the daily backups or you want the weekly backups or you want the monthly backups. so there are three types of backup frequencies you can use here and the retention rate okay so retention rate is something where how many copies you would like to keep for your data so if your data is backed up on sunday tuesday thursday and saturday this means this is four copies of the backup okay and uh, once this cycle completes it will take the fifth copy and after the sixth copy is created on tuesday it will remove the first copy which was created on sunday so this is like the backup retention frequency and similarly if you want to create uh, weekly backups uh, you can enable this option as well and select the weekly backup frequencies like when you want to take the weekly backup so usually what I do like is I take my backups on alternate days because usually it's a good technique that you at least not lose all your data, but you will just have your data a day before. Okay. 
So this is usually the best strategy I always like. And from this option, backup user accounts. So this is the most important step that your backup service will work or not. Because from this step, you need to go to the other page to select your accounts. Okay. So once you go uh, from this page to the other page, you will be able to see all the cPanel accounts that are available in your WHM and you can simply enable and disable them. So whatever the accounts you choose to enable, only those accounts will be automatically backed up. Otherwise, uh, it will not back up any account if you don't select and enable this. Okay. Now, uh, this is also some other configuration options like if you want to suspend if you want to also back up the suspended accounts, also uh, you want to back up their logs, bandwidth data and local DNS data. So usually uh, you don't need this because the main feature of backup is to keep guard your files and your database safe. So usually you don't need uh, these details. So simply I would untick this because I'm not in the need of my bandwidth data, right? Also, it will speed up the backup process because I don't need to uh, save these files. Also, uh, please always think about enabling this option as it will system uh, as this option will back up the system files. OK, and here you have the options for databases. So whatever the options you have configured in the top section, these are all the backup options for the files. And now the backup option for the database started. So you have three types of uh, backup databases service. One is per account. So if you have a cPanel account, which has like four, five, six different databases, so you can select this per account only. And if you want to uh, select the entire MySQL directory, which means if you have maybe 30, 40, 50 databases on this VPS server or on a dedicated server, it will dump the entire MySQL directory and take all the backup files and store it here in this directory. Okay. And in the third option, you have the per account and the entire server directory, which means it will backup all the data databases by account as well. And also the entire SQL directory. So usually I would like to keep per account only because if you see this option backup user accounts. So if you select this option and you enable a user account, which means this option works in sync with this per account only, right? So if you have two websites on the users panel and you want to only select and backup one website, so you can go to the backup user selection and here you can, you can choose that site. And similarly, this per account method will only take the databases backups of that site only. So this is usually the best setting, which is already configured. And this is my backup default directory. So if you ever want to uh, take this backup out, so you can simply go inside the backup directory using a remote SSH access and you can retrieve your backup anytime. Okay. And this is your staging directory. So you don't need to touch any of these things at all. And once you are done with these settings, you can simply click on save configuration. So now what I want to tell you here is that there is a drawback with this method because uh, it consumes the server space. So if you have a big website, let's suppose you have a website or you have a group of websites which stores approximately 100 gigabytes of data. So if your server, let's assume if your server is 240 or 250 gigabytes and you are consuming 100 gigabytes of data, right? So in this case, what gonna happen is that you will end, end up using your 100 gigabytes again for the backup because you have not set up any cloud service attached to that. So therefore, uh, this backup settings will be used on your server itself. And imagine if you want to create and retain the five backup copies. So 100 gigabytes multiply times five which means 500 gigabytes and your server only had a space of 250 gigabytes. So that means you are not going to uh, retain all many copies because your server will be soon out of disk space. And once it's less than 5% disk space, the backup service will not run. 
So usually uh, this backup service is recommended for those who have small websites and their server capacity is at least be able to handle all the data retentions, right? So to overcome this problem, cPanel has provided you an option called additional destinations where you will be able to select all these different cloud services. So Amazon S3 is the proprietary technology, which is a cloud storage service where you can simply uh, select the Amazon S3 settings and then create a new destination and select that destination to save your backup files. Now, all these backup files are not stored on your server. Usually, yes, it will also be stored on, on your own server, but you don't need to uh, take five data copies retention, right? Because all the data will be uploaded directly to the S3. And these are all the different services with additional destinations that are there to configure to make sure that the video doesn't go very long. Uh, I have just told you everything in brief. In the next coming videos, I will show you uh, the configuration settings, how you can use these to enable automated backups from your cPanel server to your remote cloud services. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you are using something else for your backup service, or if you want to uh, tell users about something else, about a cool setup that you know, please write in the comment section and let me know. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.